<sighs> Welcome to the Time Treadmill. I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. Freaking planet of giants, man. Ugh. I just have no words to express how much I hate this story. This was... This was originally supposed to be the very first story after An Unearthly Child. Not necessarily this exact script, but p the pitch of this story concept was supposed to be the first full-length story in which the TARDIS materializes and everyone on board has been miniaturized to the size of an insect. <sighs> Instead, for the first story, we got the Tribe of Gum, the caveman story. And I will only ever say this in this context. The caveman story is so much better. If you have the option between watching Tribe of Gum or Planet of Giants, you should watch Tribe of Gum. Now, if you have the option between watching Tribe of Gum, watching Planet of Giants, or having a voluntary colonoscopy, I would seriously look into that third, much more attractive option. So what's wrong with this story? Well, I mean, honestly, what isn't wrong with this story? It's just, it's completely contrived. It's filled with all the tropiest of tropiest, oh no, I've been shrunk down plot points. Ian is forever hiding inside movable objects. At one point he hides inside a matchbox and gets picked up and carried away. And then later he hides inside a briefcase and gets picked up and carried away. Littered throughout this story, there are giant dead insects. And they have to be dead because the BBC couldn't afford the kind of special effects to give you living giant insects. So instead we get this stupid B-plot about how there is a scientist developing a new insecticide. He's funded by an industrialist who has staked everything on this succeeding. And then we have the government inspector who has decided that the insecticide is far too deadly and can't be approved. So the industrialist murders him. The scientist helps the industrialist dispose of the body. Uh, I. I don't know, some other stuff happens. In the end, the police show up, the industrialist is arrested for murder, and our heroes finally get back to the TARDIS or are grown to normal size. Woohoo. I just, uh... I just, I can't even with this story, with the completely contradictory writing from moment to moment. The physics don't make sense, the logic doesn't make sense, the scale doesn't make sense, the plot is stupid. The acting, I can't, you know, I can't even fault the actors. They're doing the best they can with the awful script they're handed, but seriously. I mean, case in point, this was originally scripted and shot to be a four episode story. And the BBC controller looked at the third and fourth episodes and said, these are long and boring, you need to just put them together into a single episode. So it was dropped down to three episodes, and frankly to me, the optimal length would have been zero episodes. So, there we are. I wasted an hour and a half of time on the treadmill this morning watching a story I hate, and I hated every moment of it. And now, the most positive thing I can say is, I never, ever have to watch this story again. Huh. So, hey, tune in tomorrow when I watch a much better story. I'll see you then.